you'll notice that now we've included several characters to the image. As you can see, the guy towards the back of the image is leaning up against the wall and enjoying a nice cold bottle of milk. You can also see that this group of people sitting at the table are eating some food off of this plate. The food on the plate is some soft, unpasteurized cheese. So the guy drinking milk and the cheese on the table should help you remember that one of the ways listeria is acquired is by the ingestion of cold deli meats and unpasteurized dairy products. Now we've shown a waitress pouring this pregnant woman a nice cold glass of water. If you look closely at the cup, you can see that it's full of ice. The ice and cold water here should help you remember that listeria grows well at cool temperatures, so around four to 10 degrees Celsius. Ice cold water grows well at cool temperatures. Okay, now notice that we've added a candle to the table. A candle is kind of like a torch, just a bit smaller, and this fits nicely with this part of the scene. So in this image, we'll use the candle to represent that listeria is a torch's infection. Torches is a mnemonic used to help memorize the microbes that are transmitted from the mother to the fetus. However, rather than trying to memorize each organism in the mnemonic, we'll be sure to cover this idea by including a torch in each of the images that correspond to a torch's organism. So again, small torch-like candle for listeria is a torch's organism. Now let's focus on the pregnant woman. Notice that she appears pretty sick. She's vomiting and fanning herself. She kind of looks septic. This septic appearance of the pregnant woman should help you remember that listeria can cause septicemia in pregnant women. She's also vomiting, and the vomit should help you remember that listeria can cause a self-limited gastroenteritis in healthy individuals.